Hey, how's it going? I have a huge tip for you of how to incorporate mantras into your meditation. So first of all, let me know in the comments if you do any kind of meditation, if you're interested in any meditation, and if you incorporate mantras. So here's the thing. I am about to hit a huge milestone and I'm writing a blog about it right now which is going to have five tips of how to really get into meditation or take your meditation to the next level if you are already engaging but something just sort of feels like it's missing because I've struggled with this as well myself. In fact, I was not doing daily meditations. I've always wanted to but something always got in the way, something wasn't feeling quite right and this was a big struggle for me so at some point I managed to start doing daily meditations and you'll read a little bit more on that blog coming out on Thursday so what the heck is a mantra so a mantra is a sentence or a phrase that we use to express the way we want to be living showing up in the world something that we want to manifest into our lives However, if you really want mantras to work, you need to say them like you are already living them. So instead of saying, I wish I had a million dollars, you would say, I have a million dollars in my bank account. And there is this scientific process, like it's actually based in science, that when you start to say things as if they are in the present moment, you start to live in that way. You start to bring these things into your life because your mind already thinks that they are happening. So I've known about mantras for a long time. I have used them for a long time in my practice. But as I was going through my daily meditations in the last few months, I started coming up to these blocks. So I use a combination of mantras that I get from other people, things that I'm like, yeah, I totally love that. I want to use that. And I use my own as well. So for instance, for this example, I'm going to use the mantra and I can't even remember how exactly it was said now, and I'm going to get to that in a second, but it is from uh, Gabby Bernstein's most recent book, um, which I can't, the name of it is escaping me right now. And it's a, it's a few of them. So the ones that are sticking out in my mind right now are, I take action with faith and clarity. Nothing holds me back today is a great day. And when I would repeat these three mantras, I would say it in this very yogic way. Like if you listen to some of my meditations, I do purposely kind of speak in a certain cadence to really infuse this feeling of calm and relaxation in meditations. However, I was using them in my mantras and they weren't quite resonating. So I would sit there and I'd go, uh, what were the ones that I used? Um, I'd, I take action with faith and clarity. I'm forgetting the other one. I take action with faith and clarity. Nothing holds me back. Today is a great day. And I'd say them very staccato, very like, uh, uh, uh. and to be honest with you, there were times that I'd tune out. Suddenly I'd be like, oh, I haven't said anything in the last few minutes. Oh, or I'd like skip backwards. And I'd be like, oh, well, how did I get back here? I was way over here because I have them kind of listed out and I say them in a specific order. So there's a couple of things that I started doing. First of all, the way they were written out and the way a lot of mantras are written out are not the way that we speak, including the ones that we write for ourselves. We use a lot of like, I am having a great day. Would you ever go up to somebody and say, I am having a great day? It sounds very robotic, right? So I started saying, I'm having a great day. Very simple, very simple little switch that I do in my writing now as well, but this made a world of a difference. I'm having a great day. The other thing I started doing is, uh, at one point, one that I had written for myself is, I am a great mom, or sorry, I am a great wife and mother. I would never refer to myself really as a mother. And great kind of like loses its appeal. Like people say great all the time. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. Even if you're not feeling great. So I changed great to exceptional. And I changed mother to mom and I changed I am to I'm, okay? I'm an exceptional wife and mom. I'm an exceptional wife and mom. And then I had to add one little piece. I could not keep going with my mantras, saying them like I'm doing a meditation for somebody. 
I had to say them like I was saying them to somebody else. How would I say this thing if I were expressing it to my husband, my best friend? I'm having a great day. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. And even if it sounds way over top the first few times you do it, go for it. I'm having a great day. I take action with faith and clarity. Nothing holds me back. Put some more personality into it. Infuse it with that personality the way you would say it to your best friend. First of all, I stopped checking out, even if it meant that I laughed at myself the way I said it, because sometimes I say things really strangely. I, I'm relaxed. I'm totally relaxed and ready for the day. <laughs> I'd be like, what? What are you saying? I actually laughed this morning during my morning mantras. So just a little tip that you could take with you to make mantras part of your life. And I think mantras, I don't think, I believe, I know because I've experienced it myself. I've made tons of mistakes. In fact, I think my whole business is based on mistakes I made with myself in the past and then the fixes that I did to them and then I turn around and I share those. And that's exactly what I'm here to talk to you about today when it comes to the mantras. So mantras are a great way that if you have a hard time sitting in silence or sitting listening to music and your mind is just bouncing all over the place, it gives you something to do, something that keeps you grounded in the present moment and something that is working towards you getting what you want. So first tip, start saying it. Start saying it out loud the way you'd normally say it and rewrite it in the way you would say it. Most of us don't say I am, we say I'm. We don't say they are going to the mall, they're going to the mall. Okay, start really thinking about the ways that you are writing things, especially if you have them listed out, and start writing them in the way you truly say them. And step number two, is say them like you are talking to your best friend. And you might not tell your best friend, I'm having a great day, I'm having fun today. But what if you were calling in something like, um, I, uh, I have two brand new one-to-one -one clients who are fully aligned and they are working with me twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I kind of did a combination. So I have two fully aligned clients who are working with me Tuesdays and Thursdays every week. I have two brand new fully aligned clients working with me twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's how I would express it because I take joy. I take, there's excitement when people choose to invest in my business. So why wouldn't I speak about it that way? And I gotta tell you, you're gonna start manifesting things into your life like you have never witnessed before. So go ahead, write out a few mantras. You don't have to make a big list. Maybe you make five, maybe make two. Try them out in your meditation today and then let me know how it works for you. I am so excited to hear from you and hear how it goes for you. And in the meantime, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I will be back talking to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.